just landed in Istanbul. It's about 5 a.m. in the morning, I believe. Um, and um, we're waiting to pick up our luggage and then we're gonna head off to <clears throat> where we're gonna stay for this week. So, just waiting. the patient villa now and um, well first impression isn't all that good because some of the things that was supposed to be here um, the guy I was in contact with over email um, for example said there would be an indoor and outdoor pool and a gym and that our room would have um, a bathroom and a television and a DVD and etc. A fridge even. And this place has none of those things. <laughs> so, and when we got here, first of all, the cab driver was um, extremely tired and basically almost falling asleep as he was driving and he was driving really really fast so that wasn't all that comfortable um, kind of nerve-wracking and once we got here um, um, the cab driver wanted us to pay but the guy that greeted us here he said no because we've already um, everything is supposed to be included so we weren't supposed to pay, so we didn't, uh, we didn't end up paying, but um, that's weird too. And then they just brought us up to our room, and I'm going to show you the room. So this is the door, and when you get in, this is what you see. So there's a single bed, there's a closet, a double bed, a mirror, and a balcony. <laughs> That's it. There is no AC anywhere to be seen. The room is damp because it's really damp and um, moist outside. And this is the balcony and we have a chair. That's it. And I mean the surroundings are nice. It's a gated community. Um, so the surroundings are nice. But it's not what it's supposed to be. The pictures I saw, uh, there were two villas and there was a huge pool outside. So this isn't the same place as uh, what he emailed me. So I am, he's supposed to come around the nine. We've been up all night. They didn't, they didn't even show us where the bathroom was when we arrived. So we've been like, okay, what's going on? and we're thirsty and we're hungry and nobody showed us around they just took us up straight to the room and left and left, <laughs> yeah. and left. so right now I'm not really feeling this and I've been saying this all along um, that if I come here and I'm, I feel like it's not what I expected then I won't go through with it so this isn't really a good start uh, but I will wait with my decision because I'm going to meet the doctor in a couple of hours and the coordinator that I've been in contact with is supposed to come too and I want to speak to him and address the things that are clearly obviously missing. The thing is that we didn't get any information right when we get here, got here that we should have, I think. Mm. And Sure, it's early. I don't know what the time yeah, is right now. It's, it's like, like seven, seven, in the morning. seven in the morning. We were so here it's like early. an hour ago, almost. Yeah. And but still. But still, you should. You know, at least show uh, us the bathroom and 
like give, give us, us some, a, water to <laughs> some water to drink or something, you know. So yeah, that's weird. God. We need to, we need to see later. We have to see the doctor and see if the clinic is what we expected. I think the clinic will be. And but you know, that's this the, is that's the most important thing. Yes, and, but, but you know, it's, it's still unfair because he he you know he used those things to make me feel comfortable about coming. I mean, I felt comfortable knowing there is a pool here because I'm gonna stay here for a week and it's sunny outside and it would be nice to go outside and at least sit by the pool. And Saren, he could go and you know relax by the pool instead of just being stuck in this room for an entire week. And there was supposed to be a gym, you know. Those things matter too, I think, even though it's not the that's not why we came here, you know, to sit by the pool, but it's not, it's still not fair to to think that you can get away with pitching those things to me when I am trying to find a proper clinic and then not having anything of it. So 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 yeah. I don't know. But we'll just wait for for the coordinator to come and then I'm going to speak what's on my mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see what happens. When we first came in here, I saw a girl who had a, a cast on her nose, so she's had a nose job. And there's supposed to be a couple of patients living in the villa, which I knew, so that's nothing weird. Um, and we share the common areas like the kitchen and the living room um, and uh, I don't I'm not sure why they were up so early and now, we're not. And now yeah. everyone's gone <laughs> so <coughs> I don't know where everyone is and why they were up so early are they going to a beach or I don't know it's just weird I feel like I would like to talk to some of the other patients here and, you know, ask them what they think. Um, you know, to see if they're happy with what they've done or with the service and everything. There seemed to be a lady who stays here. Uh, she was like, a, I don't know, like the mother of the house, the housekeeper or something. I think she's the one that cooks. And cleans, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so I've talked to two girls now. Um, one girl, they were both from Sweden, and uh, um, they are staying here, and they're leaving today. But one of the girls had a nose job done, and they were really happy, actually. So... The surgeon. Huh? With the surgeon, yeah. yeah, with yeah. the surgeon and everything else as well. Yeah, it's much better than we expected. Um, we've seen the pool, and there's a gym. I didn't see, didn't see it yet, and we're gonna change room all as well to next door, and it's much bigger and have its own bathroom and and everything we expected to have. This is just a spare room that we had until the next, till those who leave, leave. How do you Yeah, say until that? they check know. out. Yeah. Until some people check out so we can have a better room. So, so basically everything um, we were thinking was wrong. <laughs> so I'm really happy because I was dead beat. I mean, I basically almost decided that I was not gonna go through with it. But after talking to the girls, they explained everything and they gave us their input and what they were thinking about everything and she was so happy with her result and the surgeon is supposedly really good. He's supposed to be... His, um, there's a difference, you know, in Sweden our doctors are very caring in a way, I don't know how to explain it, but we take we put a lot of energy into feel, making the patient feeling um, good about what they're go about to go through. So uh, that's a bit different here. Uh, the surgeon is more like, you know, you're gonna have a 
very short meeting, probably 15 minutes tops. And um, after that, um, it's done, you know, you just come back the next day and have the surgery. Um, and he's like, the girls explained him as not being that interested or engaged in the conversation. And I think I know what they, what they mean, but I think that's a cultural difference as well. Um, so I, I think I understand that better than they do because uh, we have that in my culture as well. Um, not that we don't engage in conversation, that sounds stupid, but like, you know, we talk so much. In Sweden we are used to expressing our feelings and being comforted and um, there's a difference there. I mean, the surgeon is a professional, he knows what he's doing and it's basically just a meeting to confirm what you're about to do. So I feel much more prepared now and the fact that we are changing rooms to a much better room, that feels great. And there is a pool. I was like, where the heck is the damn pool? And there is one and it was really nice and it's just like two houses away and it's a big pool where everybody um, in the neighborhood can go but there was like nobody there. So. And there was food as well. Food? Yeah, we got food. Yeah, we got food. The lady, there's a like a maid or something in the house and uh, she started cooking and while we were up here in the room and she came and she knocked on the door and she was like come downstairs and eat and she made breakfast and there was tea and everything so that felt good too you know because yeah, to, we were really hungry even though I didn't eat that much because I'm still very stressed out and I'm like I, ugh, you can see I'm like all sweaty and just the humidity in the air is oh so it much. was terrible Especially this morning. This morning, yeah. It was but now so it's, humid. It's better, but it's, it's a lot hotter. Yeah, it's better, but a lot warmer. Um, and we met the coordinator too, and he's really nice. Um, his name is Engin. And um, so basically, all our questions were answered before he even got, got here because we talked to the girls. So I didn't really have any questions. Besides, Good for I, him. I, yeah, he we got lucky because I was so mad. I was, <laughs> I wanted to, um, what do you call it? I wanted to bash out. Yeah, I wanted to tell him off, basically, you know, because I was angry. I felt like he promised us something that wasn't true. Um, so yeah, I feel much better now. And uh, he said we're going to the doctor's office one o'clock basically so there's a couple more hours left and yeah. uh, we're supposed to change rooms so, yeah. so yeah I've been looking for pictures the girls recommended us to look for some pictures online of like noses that you like so which I've been doing at home but I've kind of never really saved them properly to bring so I just did that now because I know what I want and um, I can insert the pictures here, uh, if you want to see. Yeah, we do that later. Um, yeah. I think I go in to check the gym. You want to go check the gym? Yeah. Okay. Um, you're going to stay here? Wait. I can come. We can uh, take the camera with us. Yeah, we can do Let's that. Let's go. This is the stairs up to the pool, so it's really close. This is the pool area. And as you can see, there's not a lot of people here, actually no one. And there's sun beds. And there's supposed to be the gym. Yeah, we go check it out. We haven't been there yet. <laughs> You're gonna be kidding me. Um, nothing is in order. No, it's, it's stuff down here, but... It's looking like it's gonna be nice someday. But it's not done, you can't, you can't exercise here. And this is the inside pool. That's not a pool <laughs> yet. Well, there's so. no water in it. <laughs> no. And um, okay. let's well, go. This is creepy. Yeah, this was too bad. So cute. Mm -hmm. So small. 
So we just got our new room, which looks looks much nicer. Open space, a normal bed, <laughs> and a bathroom. Let's see how it looks. But this is nice. Hmm. Our own bathroom. Yeah. As we wished. Yeah. This and is so shower. much better. Yeah. And the proper shower. It even looks okay. <laughs> yeah, looks nice. And the air condition. Air condition. <laughs> the most important thing. This is a bit of a so how long have you been thinking about your nose operation? Oof, since I was seven maybe. A long time. Yeah. Okay, do you have any uh, breathing problem? Uh, I am a bit uh, tight. So I breathe heavily, like okay. when I sleep. Look this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take a phone. You film me too. Say hello. <laughs> hello. This is not so bad, but maybe a little bit like this, maybe a little bit inferior, but not so bad. Mm. This area should be straight, okay? Yeah. Little hump here, yeah. little. But um, 
man knows is straight, just straight, but in woman like this, like a mm -hmm. little Slider, bit, yeah. little bit uh, tip, yeah. uh, high, okay, yeah. little bit, but uh, your nose tip is not prominent, okay, mm -hmm. this is like man nose, mm -hmm. it's just straight, and a little bit thumb. Uh, this angle, nozodabir angle, is, should be uh, 105 degrees, like mm -hmm. this, should be like this. Mm -hmm. You need maybe 10 to 15 degrees change. Mm -hmm. And one other thing, where the tip looks, the prominent point is this, it should avoid this line. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um, tip is not prominent, little hump, and uh, we divide phase 3 area, uh, first area, second area, and chin area. But uh, according to this, little bit longer now, so a little bit short it should be. Yeah. So we change. The upper part should be straight, mm -hmm. tip should be more prominent, mm -hmm. angle should be changed, mm -hmm. and length will be shortened. Shorten. The main idea is this, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see? Looks nice, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. What did you see, Nila? It looks nice. Yeah? yeah. So can I expect some mm -hmm. definition on the range of the nose because I don't feel like I have one now. It is a little bit uh, white but when I um, broken your noise it will, will be narrow. It's natural way of surgery. Mm -hmm. When we uh, broken your nasal bones uh, as a result this will be no, more narrow. Not really. mm -hmm. It is natural process. To narrow this is natural process, natural result of driving plastic. Sounds good? Yeah. Great. We wrapped up. Yeah. I had to show you the spear here too. What do we say about this day, baby? Um, as you guys saw, I was really pleased with the consultation. Um, after that, we went and we saw the rooms that the patients stay at and they seemed really nice and then I had my blood tests um, to see if I'm anemic and I met the anesthesia doctor as well and I didn't film that she said that she had to like tell me that pref preferably I would have the surgery in like another week um, like not this this week but maybe next week because I've been sick and it's only been two weeks um, since I had a cold but then again the risks of, um, of something happening isn't that big but there's always a bigger risk when you've been sick uh, when you're gonna have general anesthesia so so she told me that and I was I had to make a decision whether if I wanted to go through with it and, or whether I didn't and I've been well aware of the fact that I've been sick and how that affects everything. Um, but I think the risks are not that... I mean, I am a healthy person, otherwise I don't, I'm not sick. I'm usually not even... I don't even have colds that often, like maybe twice a year. So, so I decided that I would go through with it. Tomorrow, I have to get up early about six because we will be leaving for the surgery and uh, I'll have surgery around eight right yes yeah so after that I'll be a mess <laughs> I look like crap yeah. Yeah. I'll show them yeah so Saren is gonna take over the filming for a little bit and um, edit 
So <laughs> we'll <laughs> Good see luck how with that. Yeah, he doesn't he hasn't really edited much, so No, nothing at all. So you'll have to be nice to him <laughs> about that. But thank you guys so much for watching today and uh, excuse my shiny face and uh, tomorrow I'll take you with me and I'm not going to film the surgery uh, some of you guys commented about that I'm not going to film the actual surgery just like before and after like before and after the actual surgery <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow bye